Welcome. Thanks for joining us. We've got baseball on the show. It's the Colorado Rockies taking on the Philadelphia Phillies. And we'll be back for the first pitch right after this. Just about ready to roll. Our starter in this one, Ranger Suarez. How about a report on him, Chris? Try to stay back for that power changeup. Speed differential between the fastball and the changeup is huge. Hitters, they have a hard time staying back. And here is Charlie Blackman. The wind of the pitch. And a foul ball. Swing and a miss. And that's the first out. Here's the shortstop at the play. Ezekiel Tovar. Just missed. The pitch. Well. Two balls, no strikes. And it's fouled away. One out, base is empty. of the pitch spoils that one and it remains two and two one down base is empty that one back up the middle and it gets through that is third. the third base number two. Ryan McMahon steps up late McMahon. to right. Castellanos gets under it. And there's two down. That is cool. the catch Time catch to check out the Rockies lineup. One guy leading the way offensively for this club right now, Ryan McMahon. Well, he's been incredible recently, Boog. Last month, his on-base percentage was over 500. It's just ridiculous, man. I don't think my on-base percentage was ever 500 in a month. This guy's so disciplined as a hitter, it leads him to finding good pitches to hit, and he's got the patience to just take a walk as well. Elias Diaz stands in now and watches strike one. Kicks and fires. That Ball misses one. the zone. And one and one. One and one. Two gone, but the go-ahead run is at first. And we're just getting started here in the top of the first. He's Checks safe. over to first. Back safely. And the pitch. That and that's outside. Bad. Two outs. And that one wrapped foul. Fights it off. You'll see another. Pitch. 
That one just misses, and the count's full. Great RBI spot here. Just got to stay focused on the pitch. The runner will be in motion, so something in the gap should definitely score it. Tovar, the runner at first with two gone. And that's ball four. Thank you, mate. Not a great back and forth in that at bat. That he had to lay off some really well, close pitches, and somehow, no Boogie found a way to keep the bat no on his way. shoulder right there. I'll tell you right now, I couldn't have done it. Now here's Nolan Jones. Fouled off. He was late. Catches the zone. That is strike two. Two on, two outs. And there's a ball. It's a good take. Left-hand batter waits. Fights that one away. Still one and two. First inning and already up to 23 pitches. Hacks and misses. It's a strikeout. He's in a tough spot. Had to make a great pitch. Did it. Got the strikeout. Gets out of the jam. Clearly, he's happy with those results. Back here in Philadelphia, and on the hill in this one, Austin Gomber. What should we keep an eye on here? It's always interesting to see how he utilizes all of his pitches and how many of those he has a good feel for Where on that go? given yeah. day. Well, when he's really right, really. he's really able no, to keep hitters really guessing, good. and all of his stuff no, seems no, to be no. coming out of the same arm slot, no, the no, same no, no, no. tunnel. And that can make life very difficult on his opponents. The lefty fires. Kyle nope. Schwarber Outside. in now. Takes ball one off the plate. And a foul ball left side. And here it comes. On the ground to the left, McMahon. One gone, bottom half of the first. Okay, time now for the Phillies lineup. The sluggers in this lineup might not be too happy about the fact that the wind is blowing in today, Chris. Yeah, and you hear pitchers talk about how good it feels when the wind is at their back. And for hitters, you almost feel like beyond just the pitcher coming at you, you've got this other force coming against you. So important to try to get on top of the ball in terms of hitting line drives. Yeah. You know, maybe really hard ground balls with oh, a good one, exit velocity that'll get you a base hit because it's very frustrating. You just hit one on the screws, think it's going to go out of the ballpark, and an outfielder is camped underneath it in front of the warning track. And there's a strike on the outside corner. And one and two. And down on strikes. And there's two down. Two outs, base is empty. Here's Harper now. And immediately pumps in a strike to the left-handed hitter.
Two out, space is empty. Here's the 0-2. Swing and a ball hit out towards left center field. Jones makes the catch, and that'll do it. We played an inning. No score. Second inning, set to go. So in now for Colorado, Elauri's Montero. Montero goes six feet, three inches, batting sixth in today's lineup. And he was born in the Dominican Republic. Here comes a pitch. And he takes a strike. And he grounds one to the right side. Stop Got over it. to first in time. And quickly one away in the second. Good sinker low in the zone that, right that, there that, that. and produced the exactly what he was looking for. Down. Ball on the ground. Brent nice ground out. Doyle. Brenton Doyle digging in for the Rockies. I think when you contemplate him as a player, the first thing you think about is defense and you think about that great arm. I also think about the speed. If he can get on, that's going to give one more thing for that pitcher to think about. Swing and a ground ball out to short. And a couple of He's quick out. outs. Batting it. The right fielder, number four, Michael. Here's Michael Tolia. And first offering is fouled off. Two down, nobody on. That nope. one misses, one. and it's one and one. I got a ball, one strike. Second inning here, no score. And now two and two. Really good take, especially with two strikes. Two outs. Foul ball, another 2-2 two -two upcoming. And he deals. That's foul off to the right side. Keeps the A.B. going. Three, and another two. ball. Wow, this guy's really battling up there as if his run is the game-winning run. I love his tenacity. Outside, and that is ball four. Perfect. That's a great at bat. He saw a lot of pitches and earned a walk. Well, he tried to nibble right there and just missed his spot. The hitter didn't offer at it. Now he has somebody to worry about over at first. And here is Alan Trejo. That one catches the corner for a strike. Belton fires. Swing and a pop-up. Foul out of play off to the right side. That'll find the stands. The pitch. Knocks that one away, and we'll do it again. Tolia off of first with two away. And they'll do it again.
Swing and a miss struck him out. The Rockies strand one. We'll go to the bottom of the second. No score. Back at Citizens Bank Park. We head to the bottom of the second. Here's the speedy catcher, JT Real Muto. As he turns on the rubber, and with that good live arm delivers. Wouldn't chase that time. Swings and misses. And the count one, one and one. Frank. Daryl Parker assigned to umpiring duty behind home plate. And Boog, with DP, it's sort of a coin flip on those borderline corner pitches. Doesn't really favor one side of the plate more than the other. Sometimes you get a little extra of the plate, and sometimes you won't. It does seem like he evens it out over the course of a game, though. The one, two. And downstairs. What about some no-nos? Like, you can't call the umpire blue the way you do in Little League or high school, right? <laughs> Even in the minor leagues, you'll learn quickly. Uh, you call the umpire blue. You better learn his name. And uh, that's just part of being a professional player and even a major league player. And now it's Alec Bohm. Dives and he can't hang on. Gets it there in time, though, and they come away with an out after a tricky start to the play. Pretty flashy with the bare hand grab right there. Kind of risky, but, man, he made it look easy. Nick Castellanos at the plate now. This lineup's nope. going to have to find a way to make him work a little harder out there on the mound. I mean, he is just mowing him down. He's settling in. you got to make him uncomfortable. Maybe step out of the box, call timeout, do whatever it takes. And a foul ball. The wind of the pitch. Out to short, Tobar. Rolls across the diamond, and Castellanos is out. And it's a 1-2-3 inning. Down quickly go the Phillies. We'll move to the third with no score. Out of the third we inning, here's run. Colorado's DH, Charlie, Charlie Blackman. Blackman. And a pitch. That's nope. a little bit low. Count one and oh. On the ground, out to short. Turner with the throw to first. Leadoff man retired here in the third. That's what a good sinker's designed to do. Get a guy to roll over a little bit, hit the ball on the ground, kill some worms while you're at it. Ezekiel Tovar digging in for the Rockies. One for one with a single so far. You talk about elite defensive players, especially in the middle of the diamond, and this guy is at the top of the list. Swing and a foul straight back. Yeah, we go beyond just the you know fielding percentage and you know what it looks like, but the ability to have a range and you know close holes that you know are normally there against an average defender. But this guy is special, and you can see it in his first step quickness. Up the middle. Trey Turner gloves it on the run throw to first yeah. and that quickly two away the third Ryan, McMahon. Ryan McMahon digging in for the Rockies he's over one and first offering is fouled off top of the third no score Fought off foul. One Almost ball. got him. But Chris, through the early stages, he hasn't been very efficient in terms of the pitch count. He's going to need to get some quick outs if he's going to get deeper into this game. This one popped up. Turner in pursuit. Brings it in. 
And that is that. So they make short work of them there. We move on to the bottom of inning number three. No score. And welcome back to the Leading ballpark. The this Philly. is Bryson Stott. The second we talk about guys with good right speed, there. and definitely he has it. But pushing the offense aside for just a second, Chris, it's the defensive side that I think the speed factors in the most. Gomber back to work. And Off that's outside. And that is ball one. Well, he gets to balls that get by most people at that position. Just really impressive because there are certain times the ball comes off the bat, automatically that team that hit it thinks that they've got a base hit or they may have extra bases, and he just takes it away. And a swing and a miss there. And what makes him even quicker is the fact that he's so dialed in on the pitch as it's moving through the hitting zone. He can see how that hitter's lined up, what he's trying to do, and where that pitch is going to end up, which gives him that really quick first step. And that's why he makes so many great plays. Fouls it back with two strikes. The wind to kick the pitch. Swing and a miss, and he chases that one in the dirt. Beats him for the first out, and that completes the strikeout. Well, there's a small sigh of relief right there. I mean, just to keep that speed off the base pass, it's not just the pitcher. It's other guys that have to think about it from your infielders. Have to think about that runner potentially stealing, but also be in position to make a play. As an outfielder, you're thinking about a base hit to the outfield. i got to get to it quickly to try to keep this guy from taking an extra base. So I think everyone just a little more relaxed that he didn't reach base. Brandon Marsh steps to the plate. That pitch in for a strike. It's 0-1. And the 0-1. To the right side. Oh, and that's just foul. Bounced up the middle, and that chance handled. No play, that's an infield single. Not every base hit is a liner into the gap, just like not every strikeout is a perfect enough. slider down and away. I mean, right there, he just put the ball in play on the ground and gave it his all to get down to first for the knock. And that's a stolen base, not even close. You know what? I like the aggressiveness right there. It looks like it's going to be tough to score in this one. Really good pitching so far. So why not try to put some pressure on them and see if you can steal the bag, get in the scoring position. Hammer down the line. Put the extra bases. Coming home. He will score and they take the lead. One nothing. Throw to second. Not in time. He's there easily. That was a great job of letting that runner steal second base, get in the scoring position, come through with the base knock. You add a run. Kyle Schwarber comes up to hit here. 0 for 1 so far. That's One. down and in. Ball one, no strike. Runner at second here, one gone. That one misses. Ball two. There's a ball. That 
Allen finds the zone, and the count is three and one. Thought the green light might be on right there, but maybe not. If you're looking to swing in that count, that's the pitch you want. And now the lefty flips the corner, and the count's full. Rojas leads off second with one gone in the inning. Here's a high fly ball out to center. Doyle under it. Hauls it in, and there's two away. The bat, not your stop. Here's Trey Turner. He was a strikeout victim his first time. That's a strike. One one. On one. Two outs and one in scoring position. Bounce to the right side. Trejo. Inning oh. over, and it could have been worse. <laughs> Phillies with the run scoring double. It's now a one-nothing ball game. You're watching Major League Baseball on the show. Here, Citizens Bank Park. Park. John Chomby with Chris Singleton and set to lead off the fourth, Elias Diaz. And the pitch. Right through there for a strike. With all these Rockies just lacking discipline at the plate in this ballgame. So many of their outs have come from weak contact on pitches. They're chasing outside of the strike zone. You can't do that's much of anything with those locations, and that's been true again today. And that's another ball. ball. And as a pitcher, when the hitters are swinging at everything, you feel no need to challenge inside the zone. You just keep working the corners and expanding that strike zone and beyond, and they just keep eating right out of your hand. Late swing fouled off. And a pitch. Stays alive. Swing and a ball lifted in the air. Shallow left field. No trouble here. Puts it away for the out. One down. The left field of the 22. Nolan. Next to him for the Rockies, Nolan Jones. His first at bat was a strikeout. Foul off left side. There's the strike. Up the middle. Now the throw to first on the run. No, he's Not in, in time. He's safe. Well, he did all he could at short to try to make an amazing play and almost got it done. But good hustle down the line. And that's an earned infield hit. First with one gone, and now here is a Lowry's Montero. He's over one. Step off, throw to first, no, he's and safe. he's back in safely. Just missed. run is at first top half of inning number four misses just off the outside edge I think that was a strike just missing off the plate there according to the umpire and out there on the mound 
maybe trying to get an explanation. Can't say he's convinced, but it looks like he's accepted it. That ball one three. misses, and that's ball three. the automatic. The pitch. Foul ball and it remains a full count. Side, and that is ball four. He's making things difficult for himself right now out there on the mound, but you know his now confidence should still be We're high enough to get out of this, but he's going to have to buckle Ooh. down right here. Next for Colorado, Brenton Doyle. 0 for 1, he grounded out in his first at bat. He delivers outside. Got the dish, looking to lift the ball in the air in this spot. Anything but the inning, inning double play, boy. And that one fouled off. Jones over at second. Montero at first. One gone. And Whoa, another ball. Good spot for the hitter. Definitely has the advantage in this count with runners on. Look for him to be aggressive on this next pitch. Two on, one out. And that one fouled off. Instead of letting the hitter get his arms extended, tied him up a little bit, slightly up, slightly in. That one missed. Two. Michael Tolio in the on deck circle. Runners at first and second with one gone. ball left side he'll see another three two battling here as he fouls it away kicks and fires now this is in the air down the line. And that's a foul ball. Bounce to the left side. Down the line and it's foul. Grinding A-B right here. About to see pitch number 10. Side and that is ball four. It wasn't easy, but he earned that walk after a long at bat. He just hasn't had great command of his pitches in this one. Definitely more walks than you'd like to see. One down. So in now for Colorado, Michael Tolia. Right through there for a strike. Tough situation right here. So important as a pitcher to get ahead in the count as he did right there. Alley one up the middle and he knocks it down and they get the out after the ricochet. He's in safely at second as a run scores. Here's the second baseman, Alan Trejo, struck out swinging his first time, and this is a big opportunity for him to pick up his teammate right here. There 
and it's 0 1. Left field. Makes the grab, and that's the inning. Two men left stranded, but they do push across one to the bottom of inning number four now. All tied 1-1. Bottom four, and now for the Phillies, Bryce Harper. If you don't get ahead in the count, you can forget about having any success against him. As the lefty gets to work. In the air right side. Tolia trying to get there. And it's caught for the out. Almost a loud start to the inning on that first now pitch. Back. Man, he's going to want that one back, no JT. doubt. And now Real it is Muto. JT Real Muto. Caught looking his first time up. That no, one sorry, off the mark. The and it's 1-0. All tied up. We're here in the bottom of the fourth. Ball. Just missed. Probably Good looks ball. more focused no at the plate and working the count after that first at bat strikeout. That one spoiled, and the count now two and one. Front there as he swings through it. <laughs> Gets a piece there. We'll do it again. And that one almost hit him. center field that's well struck that one hops against the fence he's in at second with a one out double everything came together perfectly for him right there that ball was drilled 106 off the bat and that's the kind of feedback that tells you you're right where you want to be with your swing mechanics Third baseman Alec Bohm rolled out to second in his first at bat. There's a strike. As a pitcher, you know the runner on second is ready to push things with his speed. A base hit is probably going to be a big run, so you really have to execute on the mound. Gomber picks over. Real Muto back in there. Man at second. Swing and a miss as he was late that time. One ball. This one in the dirt. Tag safe. He's in the third of a wild pitch. Even with a good secondary lead, sometimes it's hard to see just how far that ball's gotten away from the catcher. And if you can make it to third base pretty much standing up, well, at that time, he seemed to have a pretty good read, gets to third safely, and now he's just 90 feet away from scoring. The pitch. Three. Got him! Huge strikeout there. Certainly a strikeout situation right there. The infield playing back, and this pitcher has to step up and get the swing and miss. Really nice job of attacking the hitter at the plate. Pretty big two out at bat coming up now. Here's Nicholas Castellanos. Inside corner for a strike, and it's a one on.
into center. Drifts towards it. Brings it in. And that will end the inning. Philly strand one. Still tied. 1-1. One, one. We go to the top of the fifth. Here's the Rockies leadoff hitter, Charlie Blackman. The wind of the pitch. Blackman in his 12th season, 37 years young. And he was a second round pick back in 2008. Oh one now. And a curve misses outside. The changeup and one out now. Ezekiel Tovar digging in for the Rockies. One for two. Strike to the outside corner. It's 0 and 1. Oh, he's looking great so far. It helps with over 80% of your first pitches or strikes. He might be able to go the distance if he keeps this up. Ground ball up the middle. That's a base hit. So they get a man aboard with a one out single. Up next to Colorado, the third base. Next to hit for the Rockies, Ryan McMahon. And immediately pumps in a strike to the left handed hitter. with the 0-1. Foul ball there. All tied up. And we're at the top of the fifth. And ball one. Good spot there, but didn't get the strike at the knees and doesn't seem too convinced by the call out there on the mound as he tries to get a better sense of the umpire strike zone. Kicks and deals. And there he goes. Oh, There's dude. the ball. Throw. Tag. A bullet from JT Real Muto. You know, I always felt as a base runner, base stealer, that you know, if you can get in that first, second, maybe third pitch, get your jump and steal second base, you had a much better chance of being successful. As it gets deeper into that at bat and those pitches rack up, you almost get a little more flat-footed, and you've got to be sharp to get that jump and to beat a good throw down to second base. Just wasn't able to do it right there. Still 2-2 two and two after the foul ball. Two down, nobody on. Spoils that one, and it remains 2-2. Two and two. Foul ball, he stays alive. Well, he's having a tough time getting a pitch by him. As a hitter, you feel pretty confident that you're seeing different pitches still able to make some type of contact. Foul ball, another 2-2 two -two upcoming. Left-hand batter waits. Keeps the at-bat going with a foul ball. Grinding A-B right here. About to see pitch number 10. Starting to go after it. Now we'll look down to third. And he won a round. Not an easy call there, but that puts an end to the inning. No runs, one hit, no errors, and no one left. Home half of the fifth coming up. All tied 1-1. And we're back. Now it's going to be Bryson Stock. The second baseman. 
Right I never got to play at Citizens Bank Park in my career, just the old veteran stadium in Philadelphia, but the crowds here are just as energetic now as they were at that old park. And trust me, as an outfielder visiting town, you're going to hear it from the fans out there in the bleachers. Here's your one. Ball one, one. there. To the right side, Montero. And he handles it himself for the out. Up next to Philadelphia. No left field. Redman. So up next, Brandon Marsh. He's hitting for that pop. Came out of the gates really strong. And that catches the low inside corner. Good fastball. Well, on the mound, very efficient. Able to produce an outcome, it seems like, within the third or fourth pitch of just about every at bat. Chases the fastball up the ladder, struck him out. He came out of his mechanics there. Typically likes to shoot the ball the other way. But that time, a little anxious. Johan Rojas digs in now. He doubled home a run at his first A.B. And a good eye there. Two outs. Nope, that's the ball. Looks like he's being a little cautious with him in this at bat after doubling the first time up. Doesn't want to make another mistake. That one's spoiled, and the count now two and one. The pitch. Just oh, off the out. outside edge. And now three and one. Here's an opportunity to do some damage and perhaps unlock this offense. Three one count. Be ready to turn on a fastball. And a pitch. Up the middle. Nice grab. Throws from his knees. And he safe. He busted it down the line for that infield single. Wasting no time. He's two for two now on the night. And just a triple and home run away from the cycle. Seriously, we're starting with this already. So the Philly batting order turns over. Kyle Schwarber stands in for the Phillies. 1-0. And a pitch out, but nothing going on. Now snap throw to first. And he dives back in safely. And here it comes. That's down and in. Chris with that distraction and the speedy guy at first. He's in a favorable hitter's count. Well, if nothing else, I mean, this is a great spot for a hitter to be in. That one finds the zone. Two now two balls and a strike. Nasty 2-0 slider there for a strike. That tells you he's got a lot of confidence in that pitch. Two hey. balls, two strikes to count with two outs. Two gone, but the go-ahead run is at first. Last half of inning number five. Up and in, all three. Trey 
Turner next to bat for Philadelphia. Here comes a pitch. Good plate appearance there. Able to take the walk. His ability to draw walks has been something that's been part of his career since day one. Trey Turner with a chance now. He's been such a good hitter with runners in scoring position. Some guys just take it to another level. For him right now at the plate, it's like everyone else is in slow motion and he's in full speed. In there for strike one. Movement in the bullpen. Ryan Feltner getting ready to come on for Bud Black. Two on, two outs. Just missed with that backdoor breaking ball. If he gets a swing and miss or called strike, 0-2 count. Instead, it's 1-1. Look for him to go back to that pitch later in this at bat. And he deals. The shortstop takes the ball. It's a big opportunity right here, but I love the way he's slowing the game down. He's shrinking his zone, making sure he gets the pitch that he wants to hit. And fouled off. Rojas, the lead runner out at second. Schwarber at first, two out of the inning. Fouls that off to the left, and we'll do it again. This one belted deep left field on its way. He powers that one out of here, and it gives him the lead in the fifth. It's 4-1. Listen to these fans. This place is absolutely buzzing right now. You can feel the energy all the way up here in our broadcast booth. Breaking ball on the inside part of the play requires a hitter to stay really square with his mechanics. If you fly open with the front shoulder, there's no way you keep that ball fair. An outstanding job mechanically. He deserves that home run. And now here is Harper. Both the infield and the outfield shifted over to the right. First well, offering off and it right. just misses. Missing low, Gomber. Maybe a little less aggressive on the mound right now after that home run, Chris. Yeah, it seems that way. You know, pitchers, they can come out, feel good, but then all of a sudden get touched up a little bit, and they start trying to throw instead of pitch. They're not trusting their stuff. with that one they're down three and one well he's been good for the most part is it going to take someone going out to the mound to maybe refocus him a bit no partner every pitcher is a little different I, I liken it to you sometimes you come in and you're not as focused and I kind of do what it takes to get you on track and then you have a great show uh, so perhaps it's the same with him nobody really wants their rhythm broken up but sometimes they need a little pick me up outside and that is ball four Oh, do you think you could draw a walk in the bigs if we gave you enough at bats? Oh, that's now a good question. Um, I think that if they gave the pitcher a full scouting report on me, yes, I think I could draw a walk. Manager out of the dugout now, and it looks like we'll see a change on the mound. Austin Gomber. For the night, we'll be back in a minute with a new arm on the mound. New pitcher in the game for the Rockies, Ryan Feltner. 
and he's been racking up strikeouts at a high rate this year typically at least one an inning so he'll be tough to get to and up to the plate is JT Real Muto Feltner checks on no, first okay. Harper's back in a dive swing from the booth. <laughs> Welcome to the game. First pitch out of the bullpen, a tough one. And you know he's just trying to get one in there for a strike. And on the other side, as a hitter, it's a great time to be aggressive and let it fly. It's not what they were looking for when they turned to him, but now he's got to find a way to reset. Boom. In the box with two gone. And takes a look at a called strike. Righty to the plate. Called strike right there. He swings and hits a fly ball. Center field. Doyle makes the grab. And that is that. JT Real Muto delivers yet again on this one. And this is now a 6-1 ball game. It's Major League Baseball, and it's on the show. We're back, and they make a change to start the sixth. The new pitcher, Junior Marte. And you know, bullpen guys can struggle sometimes when they're called upon with big leads because it just doesn't have the same intensity as a tight game. So we'll see how sharp he is. Your mental toughness matters in situations like this as well. And now it's Elias Diaz. The wind of the pitch. A little bit low. Action in the pen down there. Gregory Soto, the lefty, looks to be getting himself ready. Kirkering, the right-hander, also getting loose. Up and in. Yeah, that's ball two. Well, usually a high level of confidence when you're facing a young pitcher out there on the mound. In this situation, ahead 2-0. He's put himself in a really good spot. And that's outside. And that's ball three. So definitely a little wild right out of the gate. Well, it could be a little tough coming from the bullpen mound to this hey. mound, but you've got to find a way to get ahead in the count quickly. He hasn't. We'll see how this at-bat turns out. And that one ripped to left. Marsh calls it in, and there's one away. The left field, number 22. Nolan, Nolan Jones digging in for the Rockies. This kid picked up in a trade. A lot was offered and given to get him, but he's got a real nope. high ceiling. Just off the inside edge. Base is empty one away, and we're the top half of the sixth. Sharp grounder, that's through for a base hit. He was all over that one. Couldn't get any air under it, but he smoked that ball back up the middle. Timing was just perfect. Got great wood on it, and there was just no chance for the infielders with how hard he hit it. At the play, and Lowry's Montero. And the first pitch misses for ball one. Hater deals. Two balls, no strike. He hasn't wanted to challenge him. Both of those pitches off the plate away. Don't expect anything down the heart of the plate. You may just have to be patient and take your walk here. 2-0 to oh count. Here it comes. Yeah. That one catches the corner. Jones at first, one gone. Yeah, the 
a 2-1 hammered but foul. And the righty deals. And okay. another ball. On the ground. Stop. They get one, and it's a two play to end the inning. No runs, one hit, no errors, and no one left. Six, seven, eight, two in the bottom of the sixth. It's the Philly six, and the Rockies one. Here in Philadelphia, go, bottom of the sixth Philly. inning, and now the right Nick Castellanos. Feltner back to work. Hey. Strike one. Oh, one's the count. That one misses the, one. the zone. Ball one. Righty delivers. Knocks that one away, and we'll do it again. The one, two. Ball two. Can chase that time. See another payoff pitch. Kicks and fires. Swing and a ball popped up. Montero gets under it. One up, one down. Boy, that was a hanging breaking ball right there. I think he tried no to do a little bit too much. Sometimes those eyes can get really big. I think his swing broke down as well, and that's what caused him to pop it up. And digging in for Philadelphia. Bryson stop. Swing and a high fly ball down the right field line. Sizing this one up. And makes the grab. And there are two down. Now that no left, no left field. field. Brandon right. Marsh stands in for the Phillies. Three pitch strikeout last time up. Got to put up more of a fight in this one. Swings through that one. 0 oh 1. Oh she can one. live up in the zone all game if guys will chase it. That's just too much velocity. Hitters got to look down in the zone. Just yep, off the outside out. edge. And the count is 1 and 1. Aye. And that's through there for a strike. Two down, nobody on. Here in the bottom of the sixth. He caught it behind his back. Throw to first, and that's a great play for the out. What a play to end the inning. There's no way he saw that into the glove. No, you're absolutely right. All he knew was the grounder was somewhere behind him. Just threw his glove out there, and it stuck. That was pretty cool. here in Philadelphia top of inning number seven so in now for Colorado Brenton Doyle the right hander back to work that clips the corner right handed reliever and the pitch is outside ball one And another ball. ball. We got two balls, one strike. And he hits a ground ball right side. Barely got him for the out. Close play. Get on side run and sink on that pitch right there. Like got inside on him and got him to bounce into that out. 
Now it's the switch hitting outfielder, Michael Tolio. In for a strike. One one. Cold night like tonight. Last thing you want to do as a hitter is get jammed or even off the end. Trying to find that sweet spot on the bat. Tell you what, you're going to be trying to catch things out front. So off speed pitches may be a good compliment to that fastball. One down, base is empty. Now a screamer into the outfield. Rowan flashes the leather on the run and catch. The batter number 13. Alan Trejo digging in for the Rockies. A bit behind with that swing. It's strike one. Now this manager knows that his players are just trying to do too much. Everybody needs to just take a deep breath, relax, and let it naturally happen. Pass ball for a strike. And it's 0-2. Slider misses outside. Two down, nobody on. Here at the top half of inning number seven. That misses the zone. Two and two. Swing and a ground ball up the middle. That's a base hit. And that turns the lineup over. Now that designated hitter. So the batting order turns over. Charlie Blackman will hit next. 0 for 3 with two strikeouts and a ground out. And first offering is fouled off. Trejo leads off first with two down to the inning. Ground ball up the middle. Stop. They get the force. Out. That's out number three. So one left for Colorado. They trail it 6 1. And welcome back to the ballpark. Here's the center fielder, Johan Rojas. And the pitch. That ball misses. One, no ball one. Stirring in the Colorado bullpen, Jake Bird. Up and throwing. That one drilled left field. Jones makes the grab one away. Now that the designated hitter, Kyle. So here's the Phillies DH, Kyle Schwarber. He is very much your typical power hitter. I'd say he falls into the three true outcomes category. But we've seen more and more of that Four lately. The time. ability to drive the ball to slog is getting heavily favored over any discipline or strikeout concerns. A wind in the pitch. And that one fouled off. Base is empty one away. Here the bottom of the seven. And there's a rocket into the outfield. Around first, digging for two, throws to second, but he's in there easily. Anytime you rip a line drive the other way, you feel really good about what you did at the plate. You trusted your hands, you let the ball travel, and you took the barrel straight to it. That's great work right there. Trey Turner at the plate. He's already homered here in this one. All one low. Let's go one more time, baby. And a pitch. Late with the swing there. It might be time to choke up a little bit, get that front foot down early, maybe even just spread out. He's really late right now. 
at the belt and fires. Bounced up the middle, and that one handled in plenty of time to first, and they get Turner for the out. First of all, that's just a nice job to even get to that ball, and then even more impressive was the throw off balance. Had to try to in the air, get his shoulders turned, and make a strong throw. Does show off the strength of the arm. We're usually used to seeing that kind of arm strength from the shortstop. That's a bullet, but it goes foul. Two outs with a runner at third. And there's a foul ball. The pitch. Gets a piece, and it stays 0-2. the pitch good oh, eye in that spot no he's not afraid to fall into a two strike count knows the strike zone very well so much so that I think umpires will look at him and determine whether it's a ball or strike if he swings or not two outs count of three and two JT Real Muto on deck for the fields Three, two now. Lace down the line. This looks like extra bases. Runner in from third to extend their lead. It's seven one. Parker into second, and he's got a double. Well, they call that an advantage count for a reason. You're so much more likely to get something you can handle. Just a solid swing right there. Got it out front and lift it into the outfield for the base hit. Those always feel great. JT Real Muto steps in. He's already homered in this game. And there's a the ball. Way outside, no, right. two and oh. Right-hander kicks, deals. There's the strike, and it's two and one. Swing and a miss. Two balls, two strikes. Still two and two after the foul ball. Just off the outside part of the plate. And that's awfully close. I don't know how you take that. He's seeing the ball out of the pitcher's hand really well right now. Got him looking. They limit the damage here. So they pick up a run on two hits. No errors and a man left. We look ahead to inning number eight. It's the Phillies seven and the Rockies one. We go to the eighth. Now it's the shortstop, Ezekiel Tovar. Ezekiel Tovar. The why to kick the pitch. Clicks the corner. Strike one. The shortstop takes the ball. The wind of the pitch. Pop foul out of play off to the right. And a one-two. Spoils the two-strike pitch, and he'll see another. Lifted in the air, right field. Castellanos puts it away. One away. Now battle. The third baseman. Ryan. Ryan McMahon, McMahon now at the plate. 
And when you talk about elite defensive third baseman, this guy is at the top of the list. Not even close there. And that's ball one. This guy plays third base like he's a shortstop, and he welcomes the difficult play. Can throw oh, from so many different angles and makes really tough plays look very easy. That's, oh, that's a little bit low. So what are the skills you look for that make a really good defensive third baseman that elite? Well, Boog, one of the things I think about immediately are just the feet. Does he have good feet? Is he able to quickly react? And when you have good feet, you've got soft hands. And soft hand defenders no, are no, able no. to make tough plays look easy. That just missed. He walked him on four pitches. It's tough after falling behind a hitter, two ball balls ball. and no strikes. But oh, yeah, yeah. now at least he gets a fresh start against a new batter. But he needs to get back into the strike zone and start pitching with conviction. Diaz, batting with one down, takes a strike. McMahon over at first with one away. Big stock center field. They fired in quickly, so it's first and second with only one away. I'm sure he feels really good about that one. Everything was on time and fluid in that swing. Got a pitch he could get the barrel on and lined it into center for the knock. Those always feel good. Nolan Jones digging in for the Rockies. Ball That's one. off the mark. And that is ball one. One out. Runners at first and second. That Eight. catches the outside corner. And it's a ball and a strike. Two on, one out. And oh, another ball. Like ball two. Rips one to right. And that's a fair ball. They're waving McMahon home. And that rolls into the corner. One run across. Showed some really nice patience in that at bat. Worked himself into a good count. Out contact leads to the double. I mean, you could tell it had extra bases written all over it as it jumped off of his stick. New pitcher now, Orion Kirkering. And never an easy situation coming in with runners at second and third. He's got a base to work with, so he doesn't have to be perfect, but he does have to make some quality pitches. Second and third, one gone. Next for Colorado, Lowry's Montero. Swings through that. 0-1. in for a strike and it's 0-2 activity in the bullpen Jose Alvarado the southpaw is throwing and getting that sinker dialed in the Rockies trying to get back into this one and we're in the top of the eighth and one now ball. one and two, two. that's the third boom on to first oh. Yeah, they get the out. Brenton Doyle digging in for the Rockies. He's a guy, Chris, whose highlights include some of the best throws from the outfield that you will ever see. Definitely one of the best arms of the sport. Ball, Just missed. Out. Yeah, the infielders and the catcher can never give up on a play because if this guy thinks he has a chance... He's going to throw it from the warning track if he has to. Foul ball. Here's a 1-1. One, one. 
Out towards right center field. Castellanos gets under it. And he makes the catch. And that's the third out. But a run will score in the inning on this RBI double. It's now a 7-2 ball game. Back now, new pitcher on the mound as we roll into the bottom of the eighth, Cal Quantrill. Well, he's been hit pretty hard at times this season, as you see with the big ERA. So this is an important outing for him to get on the right track. Alec Bohm getting ready to hit 0 for 3. A fly out of ground out and a strikeout. The pitch. Ball one, no strikes. Quantrill, a 6-3 righty, 29 years old, and he was born in Canada. Oh, that got away from him. And he's going to reach on a hit-by-pitch to lead off the inning. Well, in the box, he's seen that movie before. It wasn't a good movie either. He knew how it was going to end right from the beginning. And at first, Nick Castellanos stands in for the Phillies. Inside corner, and that's called a strike. Movement in the bullpen. Jalen Beeks getting ready to come on for Bud Black. Boom. Gets his lead at first with nobody out. Two now. Wouldn't chase that time. One ball, two strikes to count. Ground ball left side could be two. One at second. And it's a double play. He's so good at coming across the bag and snagging it with the bare right, hand. Right, right, right. I like the flair that he brings day in and day out. Bryson Stock stands in for the Phillies. Nope. One close rule to ball. ball one, and that's no ball strike. one. And now a little barking back towards the umpire. Clearly thought he got that outside corner on. What was a pretty big pitch? Sometimes that only makes it worse for you moving forward, but it can also open up that location in the future if the umpire ball thinks two. there's a chance that he missed it. Misses. Three balls, no strikes. Well, I would expect in this 3-0 count, you're taking all the way. Hey. See if it'll walk you. That one finds the zone. Three and one. And it's ball four. He missed down low. Pretty easy walk right there. Last pitch wasn't even much to think about. Now Brandon Marsh stands in for the Phillies. One for three. Stop. Dives back in safely. One out. -oh. Pitch out, but no action. Two outs. Ball inside. Is the corner back to him with the breaking ball? Just got the corner. There's nothing you can really do with that. That's and ball another three. ball. The pitch in the air, left field. No trouble here. Puts it away for the out. And that is that. One left for Philadelphia, but they're still on top, 7-2. to two. Back at Citizens Bank Park, we go to the ninth, and now the right fielder, Michael Tolia. And the pitch. 
And first offering is fouled off. And that one is inside. Some bullpen action for Philadelphia. Jeff Hoffman, the hard-throwing righty, is up and loosening. The pitch. Right side, hard hit. He takes it on his own. And a quick out number one. Now back at second base, Alan Trejo. Now here is Alan Trejo. There's a strike. Base is empty one away. You're at the top of the night. And a base hit right there. That's back-to-back -back singles now, for him. Now, now. That can be a the really big, tough big, pitch big. to handle. A Darn front big. door breaking Black ball, line. but he did a great job staying in there, keeping that front shoulder closed. He didn't spin off the ball and hook it foul, which happens so many ball times. Inside. Blackman stands in here, leaves that one off the inside. Kicks and deals. Swing and a miss at 99 miles an hour. That was straight queso right there. Here comes a pitch. In for a strike. And the count one and two. Trejo leads off first with one away. That one almost got him. towards right center that's well struck and that gets down into the gap around third the relay safe back to back base hits as soon as that one shot off his barrel he was thinking extra bases really nice job of getting the bat out front but not hooking around it or rolling over it just kept the swing on plane and smoked that thing into the gap and it's second with one away Ezekiel Tovar digs in now. Just missed. Counts one and oh. The one oh. Base knock right field. Blackman around third. The throws offline. He's safe. It's seven four. Well, that gets him a little closer in this one. Nice job of driving that pitch the other way on a line. You know, hitters they take so many reps in the cages, working on going to the opposite field, and it doesn't always translate into the game. But right there, it did, and he did it perfectly. So a lefty out of the pen, Jose Alvarado. He pitched yesterday and we'll see him once again. Next to him for the Rockies, Ryan McMahon. High fly ball down the left field line. Match throws it in on the run. The pet pet under 35. Rockies down to their last out. Here's the Rockies cleanup hitter, Elias Diaz. And takes low for ball one. Base knock center field. Throw in, holds the lead runner at second. Two on now with two away. A couple of hits in a row for him here. That pretty much split the zone down the middle, and those are the ones where you've got to make them pay. 
Now the left fielder, Nolan Jones. RBI knock for him last time. Now a chance to drive in another run. That one is absolutely belted. That's back there. And that ball is gone. His second of the year, it's 7-7. The brighter the lights, the more he shines. Yeah, this guy lives for big moments, and right there made a statement big time. That's an impressive swing of the bat to go over the wall to the opposite field gap. And, you know, there are a lot of guys that just don't have the power to do that, and probably just as many who don't have the approach either. He let that ball travel, and he got great extension on the follow-through to drive it out of here. And yeah, the batter now, Lowry's Montero. Oh, First pitch, and he just misses. Two down, nobody on. And a foul ball. The healthy cut, tough pitch at 98, but a really good pass at the ball. Swings through that, and it's a strikeout. That'll end the inning after a lot of scoring. Rockies get three on this homer, and we're deadlocked here at 7-7. Back after this on the show. Back here, Citizens Bank Park. So bottom of the ninth, and now the center fielder, Johan Rojas. Quantrill back to work. To the right side, Trejo. Tosses to first. One out, bottom of the ninth. Those plays now can be out. tricky. The They're routine, but that doesn't mean it's Kyle. always going to be smooth. He delivered a good Schwarber. play right there. Kyle Schwarber stands in for the Phillies. Got to be careful with this guy. He's got power. He can untie it with one swing. And ball one. The Rockies have some action in the pen. Justin Lawrence getting ready to come on for Bud Black. All tied up here in the last half of inning number nine. That one missing inside. This guy's got good power with one swing. He can win it for him. Little chopper rolls foul. Next pitch is outside. Trey Turner. Next to bat for Philadelphia. Bam! Two gone. Unafraid to throw it right there. That's trusting your stuff. Just one out that. away from getting out of a huge jam. Her. Here's Turner now. Fouled off. He was late. Trying to keep good speed off the bases. Trying to send this to extra innings. Popped up. Montero on his way over. No trouble here. Puts it away for the out. And that is the inning. Nothing doing for the offense that time. Nine isn't enough to decide a winner. So we are off to extra innings. And we are tied 7-7. Back now, we're in extras. And there's a new arm on the mound, Gregory Soto. 
This southpaw has been really good against left-handed hitters. Looks like a pinch hitter for the Rockies. Brendan Rodgers. He represents the go-ahead run. The pitch. The extra innings rule placing a runner on second to begin the inning was a big move for baseball in 2020. So, Chris, how has that changed the way relievers approach these innings? Well, I don't think it's that much different from coming in to clean up someone else's mess. Definitely not ideal, but the best relievers welcome challenges like this. Substitution now at third. Pitch running here. Cesar Tapia. Digging in is the switch inning outfielder, Michael Tolia. They can take the lead in a variety of ways. So this comes down to the batter's ability to stay in control and wait for a good pitch to do something with. Swing and a miss. Strike one. Definitely a strikeout situation right here. Lots of ways for that go-ahead run to score if the ball's put in play. Now a pitch out, and perhaps they were protecting against the squeeze. The 1-1. One -one. Tapped at the plate, but it's a foul ball. One and two here. Ground ball right side. Into the outfield, base hit, in to score from third. It's now 8-7. Well, that at bat had a lot of riding on it. Certainly a pivotal swing of the bat in this ball game. Just a simple ground ball the other way. They had eyes on it, man. Sometimes that's all you need to do. Just let the ball shine. Put the ball in the ground and just get the fans at home. One down, runner at first. Now it's the second baseman, Alan Trejo. Well, these type of finishes go a long way for a team. They still have to win the game, but it'll mean a lot if they close it out. There's a strike. That was absolute gas. Triple digits on the gun. It's just a different experience as a hitter watching that go by. Next offering is in for a strike. Quickly into an 0-2 count. Both pitches were down in the zone. I think you set your sights a little bit higher because you'll have a tendency to chase if you look down in that area. The 1-2. Fly ball down the line. And that is a foul ball. And another ball. First one away. That one misses. Three and two now. So here we go. Base runner at first. Could be running on the pitch. He's got good enough speed to steal the bag to get in scoring position, even if it's a swing and miss at the plate. Well, interesting. He went with the off speed and walked the hitter. Man, you got to challenge the guy with the fastball. Now it's Charlie Blackman. And a strike right through there. That one in triple digits. Two on, one out. That one misses ball, the strike. zone. And a count even, one and one. Runners on the move. Ripped to third and caught. Throw behind the runner that got him doubled off. So one run in the inning on this base hit. It's now 8-7. You're watching Major League Baseball on the show. We're back, and on the mound is the closer, Justin Lawrence. A chance at his first save of the year. 
Now into the game, Jake Payne. He takes over as the new first baseman. Also entering the game, Chris Bryant. He'll be patrolling center field. Here's Bryce Harper. Man at second, nobody out. Chris, certainly one of the things in his head is trying to get the runner over. Yeah, the way that we see the game played today, though, guys are not sacrificing as much just to get that runner across. They're really looking at doing damage. Slugging is the name of the game. Uh, in plenty of time to first, Harper retired. Now, now catcher, JT. Real and now the catcher Muto. comes up to him. JT Real Muto. Well, comfortable or not, these are the situations closers, they seem to live for. When I mean, you get into some hot water, a jam, tough spot, whatever you want to call it, but this is where they earn their keep. One down, Phillies down a run. And that's in there at the knees. Trying to close out a one-run lead. And we're in the last half of the 10th. Got him looking. And they're down to their last down. Big strikeout right there. And that kind of takes the pressure off the defense a bit. Infield was in. So now they can move back, give themselves more time on a grounder to make a play. A lot more ways to work out of this and strain that runner at third now. So they're down to their final out. So digging in now for Philadelphia, Alec Bohm. Swing and a miss. Going one. All ones the count. The tying run is 90 feet away. Check hey. swing. Did it go? Yes, he did. No ball, two strikes. The Phils down to their final strike. That one the other way, and it's just foul. That was close. That just misses. Now one and two. Man, oh man, I don't know how you take that pitch. That's as close as it gets. Two outs. And that's in, off the inside edge. It's two and two. Got him swinging. It's a strikeout. And this one is over with the tying run stranded just 90 feet away. Nice work out of the bullpen for that first MLB win, Boog. They turned to him when they didn't have the lead. He kept things steady, and he's rewarded with the W. Final line score for our ball game tonight. For the victorious Rockies, eight runs on 13 hits. No errors. They left 11 runners on base. For Philadelphia, 